Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Matskis, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hey, I am I taller? Are you slouching? I'm slouching. Mm. And and I take I, my shoes off. And I oh, you take your shoes off. And I, I have mean, they're just heels flops. today. I have on heels today. To the top. <laughs> I feel tall. You today. feel tall. <laughs> And today is still, what is it? Uh, Eating healthy day. And Health is donut day. Donut day. <laughs> Didn't help us for lunch. We had popcorn and almonds and coffee. Yes. You need to eat better. I know I do. I, sh I mean, I pack white lunch every day. You think I can pack myself one? You need to. But is it going to be peanut butter and jelly? Well, I have ham That's and not bad. But I mean, it's not I bad. I would eat peanut butter and jelly every day. Peanut butter and jelly or ham and cheese. Um, you so should you pack yourself a sure, lunch. Pack him one. Put it, and I'm sure you make him a nice, healthy lunch. But yes. he has a, a little orange in there. Uh -huh. and I even peel it for him so he can eat it. Oh, but yeah, he's get his he gets his sandwich. You just need to make a little lunch for the lily. He gets a little cheese lily. He gets a lily. We haven't picked a name yet. Everyone likes Lily, though. Lily is winning by a landslide. Yeah, landslide, Lily. That's what we're yeah. gonna call her. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm heck white a really good one. Well, you need to eat better. I know. Because I'm terrible. Almonds and popcorn. Yeah. Which I'm is why my pants are tight. <laughs> I am good about drinking. Because, like, this was is filled with ice, so I just keep putting water in it. Yeah, so I am good. good about drinking, which I know I'm not usually, but I know that's half my battle usually. Is just drinking enough, and mm -hmm. I know that's extremely important. Besides just eating good mm -hmm. calories for the baby, staying mm -hmm. hydrated is equally that good, so... I, mean, I don't know. I'll get there. You think I would have been there by now, but <laughs> well, today is the day we celebrate to remind us to eat better, turn a new leaf, or have a donut. <laughs> I, <get it. laughs> uh, I just can't decide today if I'm hot or cold. At the moment, I'm hot. So pretty soon, I'm gonna put that stupid jacket back on. It's a weird day. Yeah. Well, and there's been such. There's this huge fire. Um, in oh. Wenatchee, there's like two that are people keep coming. asking. I was going to mention that this morning because people keep saying, "Oh my gosh, is the smoke near you?" Because I think we've made national every year. We make national. We news have because Washington is like on three fire, days but... in a row. We've had the worst mm -hmm. air quality in the mm -hmm. nation mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. We are we are in the Columbia Basin is where we are, and mm -hmm. so there's mountains on one side, hills on the other, and the river runs right so by us, and so right. Here. The smoke comes in and sits. And so if we get rain or wind, the wind will blow the smoke out. But mm -hmm. we don't really hope for wind this time of year because that's, of course, going to lick up the fires. Yeah. And so We are hoping for rain, rain, cold mornings, and quiet air. Yeah. Just so those firefighters can get the job done. Because yeah. they're working in a really hard place yeah. right now. Lots of trees. We have a lot of old growth it's, forest yeah. around us. And so Washington, Oregon, yeah. and California. Yeah. And we have been actually very good this year, I think. This is our worst one this entire year. And we are coming to the end of the season. That's true. So That's even true. when it was crazy, crazy, crazy hot, we did have a lot of little pop-up fires, which was kind of weird. But they were taken care of immediately. Yeah, right Just away. Just totally nipped in the butt. Um, this one, though, because of where it is, it's give everybody a run for their yeah. money. But they'll get it. They'll get it done. and They'll get it. And it'll be okay. And we are fine here. Yes, so we are. People can yeah. a, um, ask constantly, is it near you? It's no. not near us. It's not near. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not even really near. Um, it's over 100 miles from us. Yeah. And it's also not near a very populated area. So they might no. be protecting cabins and vacation homes. Squirrels. But squirrels, yeah, chipmunks, that kind of thing. But as a very populated area, they have gotten it directed in a different direction. So yeah. everyone's pretty safe in our neck of the woods where the fire is. But we yeah. just have to... Deal with the smoke and why it's dealing with no recess. Oh, because of air They're not quality. letting them go outside. Oh, right. So we've got a mass email, of course, because of air quality. The daycare used to do it, too, so it was nothing new for us. Yeah. They don't want them to go out for PE or for recess or for anything. Even for after-school events, if you have severe asthma or anything like that, but you might participate in a sport, you are able, while it is bad air quality, um, you don't have to be penalized for not going to after-school practice because it, you shouldn't be outside in this right. kind of air. So, right. Yeah, so you might find lots of people, um, uh, lots of us walk around, and it sounds like we have a cold. Yeah, um, but it's just just breathing mm -hmm. that in. Yes, yeah. 
So yeah, my little, hat. my little five-year-old not running three times a day. It's definitely. Those teachers. <laughs> I know. She said it was a hard day for everybody today because we haven't been doing recess, so there's lots of wrestling. And she said, so if there's any extra booms, braces, scrapes, whatever, so I'm sorry. I was like, no, it's okay. He can handle he's it. He's a tough boy. We'll um, make sure he's not the instigator of the floor wrestling. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you get all those wiggles out. Of yeah. Them. So, yeah. Because yeah. they don't have a gym either um, right now because oh, the school of is being remodeled. So the gym actually has a bunch of cubicles in it to store like six extra classrooms. So they can't even just go to the gym, throw a ball around, or play dodgeball. Mm. So yeah, so I have enough rough little go at it, but they'll get there. Yeah. It's part of learning how to grow up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That little guy. Um, we have some we packages. Some mail. Well, and I thought, you know, um, it's kind of a funny thing, you know, because uh, we watch other, I watch other YouTubers. I love YouTube. Um, I never watch us. <laughs> <laughs> it bothers me to watch. <laughs> it does. When we, I do, when we do, when I do watch us, if we ever do, um, it, it does make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I find you so hilarious. But. <laughs> Or something about somebody laughing makes you laugh, but um, but anyway, but um, and it'll come up because while when I'm looking for something on YouTube oh, sure. to watch, something you might um, like, I, we're always listed on our little. Oh, you might want to watch this now. <laughs> but um, but anyway, there's a bunch of them that I'll watch. And uh, what's kind of funny is there's two things that I've noticed about YouTube. One thing that's kind of funny is that. They will never tell you where they lived. Have you ever? You don't watch YouTube though, do you? Um, yeah, I really don't. Oh, they keep it like this guarded secret. They might say, "Oh, I do live in Missouri," but they won't say anything else. And I thought, well, why won't you tell people? And I thought, well, maybe it's some sort of a maybe. There's weird stalkers or well, and I can I don't see. Know, maybe, if but you, you guys, I mean, you can find my house. Uh, I live here. <laughs> Come down, see the lakes right there. I'm right here. I mean, I everybody knows where I am all the time, and you, yeah, you know. So, but I also think that our YouTubers, the people who watch us, it's super, super normal, yeah, you know, moms and grandmas and yeah, normal people. So uh, I don't think we're we end up with any. Stalkers. And I can see if you're like a single parent or whatever doing something on YouTube to you know help with wages or whatever, you might not want to yeah. have to worry about you know. Or if you're creating controversy. <laughs> yeah. You do not. There's no... Or some of those questionably, about us. Uh, are you wearing clothes or you not? You yes. probably don't want anybody to know. Yeah, yeah. So we... Yeah, I don't think, I think we our do con- anything no. that... Um, so yeah, so that's two things. One thing is, yeah, nobody wants to say where they live uh-huh. because they keep it as this highly guarded secret and what their name is. It's like, oh no, this is my oh, name, sure. this is my address. And give you my phone number, you know. Um, and then the other thing is they all do these little um, openings. Oh. They do, um, um, they there's one real? guy that I just love to watch, and he is, uh, I think he must be about 35, and he has autism, and he loves princesses. And he's just, um, I like to watch him, I think, maybe for the same reason people like to watch us. He's just happy. He is just this happy, pleasant fun guy and I, he just there's something about him that just I want to know what he's doing you know <laughs> and so he has like this Amazon wish list uh-huh. of things that he wants oh it, that's cool yeah and so and so once a month his mom puts out this um so his mom and his dad are separated and um I think they live like a block from each other they sure. get along really well he actually lives with the, lives with his dad but he comes over to his mom's during the day because she works from home and so she is the one who does these videos for him. And um, once a month, he opens these presents. Oh, and how cool. he, And it's so fun to watch him open presents. And, you know, I, and somebody said, well, don't you worry that he gets so many? And it's like, I would have never thought that. Because then he shows you in his room, and he has all of these princesses just lined up oh. perfectly. But anyway, he is just super cute. But um, but there's a bunch of them that, that do that, and they do these little openings. And so what happens is we open things, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, we have to remember to say thank you. And I am so bad at sending a thank you card. I, I might write a little note on an order or whatever sure. or send a quick little email, but I'm really terrible. And I thought, oh, maybe we'll just... Because we have like four packages here. And I thought, oh, uh, watch it be, you know, a return. Hey, you sent me the wrong thing. But <laughs> I'm hoping that... Um, so this is... Um, let's see. This one is Kathy Schweitzer. Oh, Kathy Schweitzer from Eastern Anarchy. Kathy was just in here. She was in here on Friday. She got her machine. Oh, awesome. Got her machine. Did it up? 
What did she send us? Oh, it's a cross. Oh, she must be making prayer quilts. She prayer must pockets. be. You know what's funny about these is you buy them when you find them because you can't find you them. You can't. Mm -hmm. Cindy, we were talking about the prayer quilt and how hard it was to find little hearts. Um, oh, she, little hearts, and then she put um, um, a line through it. Um, I found these at Hobby Lobby uh, because I live so close. Uh, please use and share with your friend oh, that cool. shares her prayer quilts. Have a great walk, uh, Kathy Schreitzer. Oh, super, super nice. That's we were cool. talking about this. She was just in on Friday, and we were talking. Um, she showed me. Um, so uh, we do these little prayer quilts, and so it's just a tiny little, like a four-patch or whatever yeah. you want, and you put a, um, a cross in it. And it can be any, you just have to be able to like feel it in there. So you put it in there with your batting. And so the idea is that you give it to somebody who just, you know, needs to, needs a Going little bit a of comfort. Time. And when they put their hand in their pocket, they'll feel this little quilt and this little cross in there. And they'll know that somebody is thinking of them and praying for them. And so it's really, really nice. But a lot of people are making them because you You're cannot find, find them. So every time I find them, I was telling her that every time I find them, I buy them because I have a friend. <laughs> uh, again, you know, we use these terms, a friend. I've never met Becky, but BK Supermom from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. She's been making them, and um, she goes to chemo, and she takes them with her, and she passes them out. And so what I've been doing is whenever I find them, then I, um, I have, I'm buying some, and then I wait for her to order, and then I'll just, like, plop it in there real quick with a sweet little note that says, hey, I was thinking of you. So Oh, that's cool. So I have some for me and some to share. But the other thing that was really nice that Kathy had mentioned is that in addition to the prayer quilts, there's these little things that are called um, prayer hearts. Uh-huh. And so it's the same idea, but instead of a quilt, it's a, a heart, and it's kind of like um, a raggedy edge, mm -hmm. and they just hang them in trees. Oh, they put cute! Them like, and it just says, and there's a little thing. So she if anybody's walking, you might just need something. They can just take yeah, off the tree. Yeah, and it has a little note on it that says something like, um, um, if you find this, um, there was a reason for you to find this heart today. Um, so take it with, please take it with you, keep it with you, and um, f if you find the need, hang it again or something. Oh, that's I'll, cool. I'll find the little sentiment that goes with it. But um, anyway, I thought, I told her, I said, just I'm like going to start making some of those. A new meaning for like a geocache, you know, instead right. of just finding these little and things that's you what can I thought, find. Because I told her, you know, we go for walks all the time, and how fun just to like hide a few of them around town. So I yeah. told Kathy I was going to start doing that. So, oh, all right, so, cool. um, so Becky, I am going to send you some, but I'm going to keep some in. <laughs> some little hearts. So anyway, so thanks, Kathy. That was super nice. Um, and then this is from Donna Struts. Oh, yes. Uh, it says to Cindy, oh, I wonder if she, again, I always, are you returning a book? Something that we sent you the wrong thing. <laughs> it's then or. But Donna is the one from, what's her channel? S Quilting with Ying? Yeah. Who, we did those little We images. did, um, yeah, we, she does inner, oh, oh, what is it? Oh, it's some, um, well, ladies, ladies, thank you for being such a blessing to so many of us around the world. I'm so blessed by each of you for allowing me to host you for interviews and sharing um, a dash of your lives. Sending along as a small thank you. Oh, oh cute. Little breast cancer, uh, cancer ribbon. That'd be good for October. Oh, for we could little just giveaways. little giveaways yeah. in October. Just to make sure that cute. everyone has one. Thank you, Donna. That is yeah. super nice. That is super nice. And look at these little ribbons. Those are really cute ribbons. Makes them perfectly more. cut. Huh. That is really cute. Cute. Well, that's really good too because, um, and I think I know that she is making. She's making uh, a bra. A bra. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to see hers. Oh, this says something. This says it said on the back. Oh, it says road to California. Road to California, January eighteenth. Oh, it just must be their flyer. But you know what it is? It says free admission vouchers enclosed. Is it otherwise? Do you have to pay? I mean, part of it. Allie would show. know. Part to get into the quilt show, yeah. Well, maybe this is if you don't want to pay. Maybe these are free tickets for our friends in California. Is that what it is, do you think? I don't know. 
Well, that's a celebrate quote with us January 18th to 21st, Road to California. So these are bookmarks to advertise it. Why? I don't know a lot of Washington people. No, that they are, are gonna... just uh, a bookmark. Oh, to remind you. They Free want admission to vouchers open. and closed. They knew I was not going to That must open be it. your voucher. Okay. voucher. I'm hoping there's a giveaway in here somewhere. Oh, there's there. your vouchers. Oh, there's two of them. Road to California. Oh, I have my glasses right here. Free yeah. admission voucher. Two Redeem of them. Redeem at the North Information Desk. It does say fabric patch on it. Um, cool. We have two to give away. The first person to put in your notes on your order that you want them, we will send them to you. So I'm yes. guessing, Allie, shout out to you. <laughs> uh, I know she Our goes. Girl. We, I, we have a lot of California customers. And it looks like um, unlimited admission is just $19. You can get in all week. Um, pre-sale our ticket booths are $16 for a single mm. day if you want to go for Tuesday the preview night. Um, super cool. And children under the age of 12 are free. Huh. Super cool. Super and cool. you can start buying your pre-sale multi-day tickets on their website on November 1st. Well, there you go. We might not pass out many of the bookmarks, but, uh... Um, or if you need bookmarks, just say, hey, hey let us know. Mark. I'm going to give them, I'll put them on Tracy's stack back here and she'll throw them in for you. Yeah. So if you have a California address, you can buy go and get one. Yeah. Anyways. But if you're not from there, but you're headed that direction, you want to know some more. And two cool. Tickets. And um, lastly, I already opened this. This is what made me think that, oh, I need to be able to say thank you. In fact, I think I mentioned it this morning. Yeah. Um, Jan sent real Southern flower. Yeah. This the is white the white lily flower. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the real thing. And we had this discussion. And she bought it from like her, it wasn't like an Amazon box. She shipped So this. she got this it from a legit Southern flower. Mm -hmm. It came from the South. And um, Biscuit, she was the one who told us, so Paula Hansen, everybody that was uh -huh. waiting for that, um, that to make real Southern biscuits, it doesn't have anything to do with um, all of those other weird ingredients. It has everything to do with the flour. Yep. It's just the flour. Hmm. All right. Flour Thank butter. you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> On our uh, healthy eating day. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So let's see. So we can, so thank you guys for our little packages that's fun and um let's go ahead and uh let's see we have we have quite a few boxes we Hi. have let's start with our notion box. yeah let's start with the notion. Here, look at this. Here's the big one. it's a big one that um we already opened because you knew there was what was it glue is that what um, you grabbed out of here and a stabilizer for the retreat so this one is full of notions so um more iron clean we go through this um tons and tons of this so this is if you're doing um steam a seam any kind of uh mm -hmm. fusible applique and your iron gets dirty uh that's what this is for yeah there's 10 sheets in there and um you just use the slightest little about an inch on the sheet each mm -hmm. time and so it lasts for a long time but yeah. everybody needs that Oh, and, and then the devil. Steam machine. This is the devil that gets on you. <laughs> yeah. So it has uh, like parchment paper on both sides, a nice little glue thing in the middle. So you can do fusible applique. And this, if you're not using a pressing sheet, which you should be, the pressing sheet will, of course, protect your iron and your ironing surface. Mm -hmm. But if something gets a little sticky, iron clean will clean off your mm -hmm. irons. Cause, so don't throw them away. Try your iron clean before you decide to go buy another $60 iron. Yes. Um... And that's kind of nice, you know, Steam Seam also comes uh, uh, by the yard, but what's nice about that is that's a manageable. There's, mm -hmm. is there five sheets in there? I think there's there? five sheets and they're like nine by 14. Yeah, yeah. So um, more of these books. So this is the 10 minute blocks. What did we call this in the video? We called it the three seam block. Three, mm -hmm. You should link that. This is okay. a really fun tech. This is what we should do with some of that fabric. You know, um, Marge took home some of the new um, wild stuff and she's, what should Ooh. I do with it? And it's like, well, something that you don't want to cut, um, it cut it all up. So this is a really fun technique. It's this whole 3D thing. So there's the 10 minute blocks. The original one has red um, uh, quilts on it and this one is number two. So it just shows you once you've done that technique, mm -hmm. some of the fun things that you can do for that cool. 3D effect. So um, just some reorder on Quilter Select Rulers. So the three by 12 oh, yeah. and the four and a half inch square. 
Again, quilter select um, black lines, and it does really have a truly non-slip um, yeah. surface on the back. And then these, you must have, we must have ran out of these because we featured these. And what video did we just um, do? We will be featuring it on um, the September oh, summit right. seasons. That we think we're going to try to get out so you can see it Thursday, see it tomorrow, okay. maybe Friday. Um, we just have to do some more editing. I have to take a few more pictures that I didn't take already. Oh. And we show this because there's, um, mom shows a really cool pressing trick for her half square triangles. Mm -hmm. And you definitely want those. Otherwise, you're going to have little crispy fingertips. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen these before, they are the thermal fingertips. And so there's three of them on there. Um, and there's three of them on there, not because you have to wear three, mm -hmm. but there's three different sizes so that if your finger gets a little bit too close to the iron, yeah, it doesn't get hot. Um, and just more friction pens. So I got the trio pack, so it's the black, blue, and red. And then they still don't have the blue um, in this like cap form. Out of that for a long time. So we did. I did order some regular um, blue friction pens um, that are the same thing. But the only trick is it's not a it's not a cap. You where you little you clip it to your shirt or clip it to your notebook. You push that down and it exposes the pen part, so you can draw your lines, do whatever. And then you click back down on that, and then it will retract your pen point. So I do have individually blue ones. If you'll notice, we've been out for a long time. I just don't know why they don't have the cap ones available. Mm -hmm. So um, same price, they're just a different style. Or you can also get black and red sold separately, singly also. Roxanne's glue stick. I think we sell maybe five different glue sticks. Mm -hmm. um, they're all good. Uh, we ch we all. It seems like all of us have a different favorite yeah. one. Favorite one, and it's always for a different reason. Um, I do like a glue stick where um, that you can see it where you've put the glue. So mm -hmm. I like the bright pink or the bright orange one. This one is really really nice with wool. Um, yeah, it works dry, really soft, great. Clear. With wool. And yeah, it's kind of, it's a out. little tackier. So if you feel like you've it tried is. the other ones and you feel like, oh, it's not like gluey enough, mm -hmm. the Roxanne's glue stick has a nice, real tacky. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's almost going to seem like naughty glue that you shouldn't have used because it is quite sticky. Yeah. Totally yeah. washes out, dries yeah. clear. Um, you can, you can stitch right through, through it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's still good. And then some Orifil thread. This must just be some things to use up. So yeah. um, there's, bl I mean, that we were out of. There's, so there's black. black white and gray gray and i've got a cream i think so yeah more orifil thread um i also found um a bobbin box so from regular class 15 bobbin whether you do metal or plastic this has a little foam insert that has little um cutouts so you can just stick your bobbin right in there is so, it on both sides no just one just one side so you can store them nicely so your threads aren't running around. Um, oh, I need this. And you can also take it to retreat. Because I know my bobbins are kind of do their own thing in a box. And yeah. That keeps right. them nice and neat. And then and more then creative grid flannel mm -hmm. for design walls. Mm -hmm. Perfect two inch square. Mm -hmm. And it's 58 inches, so the magic number, um, two and an eighth is exactly what you need, so two and a quarter yep. is perfect um, to be able to cover a design wall. And yeah. we, we have a video that shows how to do that. Uh -huh. right. We do. Yep. Okay. All right, All right. So and that's uh, the notion box. I think that was everything. Something there. All right, and then I'll lift up. Um, maybe we'll just switch this. Oh, they won't fall off. Let's just open this from down here. Okay. And then we can just lift the fabric up. It says Mariah. Oh, and uh, just in time, UPS is coming in the back door. Ooh, they're nice and bright. Oh. Whoosh. Not that we have any room for <laughs> anything. But, you know. But it is bright batik. Really nice. I feel like these guys packaged these weird. Yeah, I know. They're like Instead bagged individual bags. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Pink and orange. Orange hearts. Oh, is that hearts? I think that's a heart. That's like little confetti bits. Oh, it, oh, it could be. It could be. Orange with hot pink. Oh, man. Look at that one. Tie-dye. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's pretty neat. 
All right, we'll finish getting all these out and get this little black little wrapping off. And, and then we'll show you up close. Gorgeous. 20 <laughs> brand new boutiques. Uh, very bright. Very mm -hmm. fun. Um, and everything has a little bit of a texture, which is really good. We should have talked about this before we... Because they don't like it when we stand here and chat. Right? <laughs> but should we do some... Um, Half yard cuts? Yeah. I was kind of thinking. Um, because you guys I tend to like that. Really like that. when Because that way you don't have to c try to maneuver the website and, oh, put this in the cart, put this in the cart. All of these look beautiful together. Yeah. It's a nice, um, all very bright. There are a couple of lighter ones we'll show you. But um, this would be nice to have as some half yards, especially since we just featured those baby bento kits. Yes. Beginner uh, Bargellos. Uh-huh. You could do log cabins. Yeah. You could do, yeah, you could do a ton with you could boutiques do a lot. and mm -hmm. having half yards of mm -hmm. different tones and different colors. You could Three do a long seam quilt. Three seam quilt. Yeah. There's absolutely. a lot. That way you would not, well, we should do that. So let's do, you would say half yard cuts. Oh, so yeah, that'd cuts. be 20 half yard cuts. Mm -hmm. um, so 10 yards in the bundle. Mm -hmm. And we'll just do what, like? Four, not very many. Yeah, probably just four. We'll do a ton. Just keep it so those of you that are really interested in it, if you're yeah. not, you know, it's all good too. Yeah. Or you can just get the piece you really want. Like these tie dyed so ones. Joanne oh. Dobbins, that way you don't have to go click, click, <laughs> click, 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 click. Hope maybe it makes yes. your shopping easier. Yes, yes. These are beautiful because mm -hmm. I would have these just for my stash. I yeah, think absolutely. there's probably a ton of Cafe and other Hoffman um, pre-cuts, um, maybe those little, what are they called, those mini Bolly Pops? Oh, yeah. That would go with these because they're all super bright. And they make me think of Margot's. Little, you like, could also, with um, with half yards of Batiks, you can also do like a beeline for baby. You could. If, mm -hmm. you know, you really like that. But yeah, really bright. And then there's these, should I lift these? Our yeah, table, we we've them. moved some tables around and so they don't all fit on here. These are the lighter ones. Oh, I just see the video. There you go. Pretty though, I still think they all yeah, fit together. Yeah, I mean, I think they, yeah, you have to have, you know, some different textures and different colors, but, um, so here, so let's do them up close. Let's do these first. So, okay. this one. So it is, it's gonna come across as pastel because of all of the white, but there really is some blue and some green, um, the pink, the yellow, uh, quite a few different colors in there, kind of a cool pattern. And then this is a peach. And again, it's still a bright peach. That looks good with these, but it would still be considered a light. And then this one, gosh, it's almost I think like that one's a- so cool. I know, it's almost like it could be like a wood texture. I really like it. I love it with the um, the tie-dyed ones. That's oh yeah. Pretty. Super so cool. this is this is in two different colors. So this one is all of the brights with the little polka dots, and then this is just the jewel tones. So it's just blue, purple, and magenta with the polka dots. Love it. I know. I know. And then there's a third one. And this is just the tie-dye, no polka dots. And I shouldn't call it tie-dye. I don't think that's what it is, obviously. <laughs> it's uh, it's batik, but... Um, Still. I know, but it's... Cool. it's um, gosh, I could make a, something out of that. All right, so let's go. We want to go down here. Sure. So this one, it was kind of funny. I thought at first I was seeing hearts, but... And I think if you like to see hearts, you would see that. But I think Brianna is right. It really is just confetti. So it's a pink modeled background, and then there's maybe a little hints of purple in there, and then the confetti is in an orange. And then these, I would think that that's about as solid of a batik as you're going to get, and that is the most beautiful tangerine color Yeah, ever. it's coming through yellow, but that's definitely... Oh, no, it's... The next three, these three pieces that look yellow is a tangerine. Yeah, range. it's a tangerine. But it is it's, beautiful. Yeah, it's coming through super yellow, and it's not a yellow. In no. Pink. It's an orange and pink. No. Nope. And again, on the website, I get a manufacturer, a manufacturer image, so you're going to see the true color on your computer screen. And this one you might be able to see better. It's that same texture so you can see I still see hearts and dots and triangles. And that one comes through orange. I would say that mm -hmm. this is orange and yellow. 
a good pumpkin orange or some yellow. Yes. It's a good fall piece. Yeah, and then a beautiful yellow. Does that one mm -hmm. come across yellow? Yep. So now can they see the difference? Oh, maybe they could. Yellow and... Oh, see, yeah, they can't. No, this really? looks. This literally looks like a shade... Uh, different. Oh, oh yeah. no, oh it's no. So, it's definitely yeah, no. a tangerine, beautiful yeah. orange. It's beautiful, yeah. And what about this one? Pink, pink, pink? Yep, pink, pink, pink. Fuchsia. Yes, beautiful. Little that would almost work if you're looking for different shades of red to do something really cool for Christmas. Oh, sure. That might just yeah. come across red enough to pull off. Oh, sure, definitely. I would mm -hmm. say that's definitely a... And then pink, pink. Pink, pink. Love it. Look at this. If this is not the most saturated blue. That is a beautiful Man. cobalt blue. Yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. This one will this one will sell first. Yeah. A great background. Gone. Yeah. Really pretty blue background with the purple. Gorgeous. And then here is a purple. Pretty. Almost a spot. And then this is that same print again with the um, little oh, confetti. Gosh, look at this for like a three yard quilt. Oh, let me zoom out for them. Gosh, and if you add that blue, and then Ooh, here's a yeah. purple. Oh, so do a three yard quilt. Do one, two, three, four, five. You'd need a sixth one. And um, yeah, double it make up. a six yard queen size. Beautiful. All right, there they are. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna have to move these because we don't have table space because then we have big boxes. Okay, we'll clean up and we'll be right back. Okay. Did you find another box of notions? Well, maybe. This was a box, uh, okay. I'm gonna tell you, I was over there cheating just now because oftentimes when we get these little boxes that are this size, this is the size that pre-cuts come in. So sometimes we'll peek just to see if you really need to see it yet or not. It's no, so you probably should this one, but it's for your retreat. It's my retreat, yeah. So Kimberbell but. tape, and um, Chris, and those of you guys that are waiting for the Kimberbell dispensers, um, they're coming. However, they're coming out this month sometime. They're a beautiful aqua color. The orange ones are out, but they came out with blue. Mm -hmm. So they're coming eventually. I was hoping they'd be here by my retreat, but they are not. So. And then the tape, some CDs. Oh, and then these are the needles that you like for machine embroidery. It's these, and it's also the yellow uh, metallic needles. However, they're out of metallic needles at this moment. So I didn't have enough of the metallic ones for everybody, so these are my second favorite ones. One so I'll show them these. Um, they do just some bench um, pillows for machine embroidery. We're doing Kimberbell's um, double hooping technique. So if you are wanting to do multiple at a time, some of her um, projects show double hooping. Oh, is that cute? Are you gonna make this for me? Well, it's I can. a baby bag, isn't it? It says quilt! <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it's cute! What's really cute is they have the machine, it's an in the hoop, um, just to stitch out the quilt part. But I didn't know if the bag itself had different machine embroidered projects in there well, or if it's just quilt plus anything the bag on there i mean that's the oh, yeah. whole thing with quilting with bags with anything that you can super personalize creative. a pocket any way you'd like this could be a little baby bag it's cute i a love it and it's tiger. a draw it has a drawstring top on it oh. so you don't even have to like nicely pack your stuff just make sure you can get that drawstring closed and you're good to go um but it's huge way better than a zipper Way you gotta better. shove things in, yeah. things get caught in the zipper. And, um, and it's 22 by 16 by 13. So it's mm. huge. You can put like a small machine in there. Or a baby. Or a baby. That is so cute. So, okay, so we realized that we were yakking away and we broke the camera. <laughs> had it with you um, and so the memory card was full so uh, we were opening and ooing and awing and trying to decide what sweet nothings meant and we thought it was a baby line and um, it is not it is edit a sitar and um, of course it is it all looks just like her just this nice really cute. soft uh, beige not blue no beige um, and gold yeah beige and gold so super mm -hmm. super beautiful so um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, two big huge boxes. Yes, I have one more there box to empty. What? Twenty bolts? Must be twenty pieces. Yeah. So we're gonna have to figure out how to put it up here on the table so you can see it, and um, we're gonna get the plastic off, and then we'll be right back. Okay. So this is the sweet nothings. Um, really cute. 
It is beautiful. Um, very quiet. Edita really does do a really nice job. She always keeps things really quiet, nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. Everything goes together. She does have just some little, we'll show you up close, but just some little bits of color just to kind of um, vary yeah. the texture, which is really, really nice. Um, but when we were opening it and looking at it, we kept thinking about the different lines that it made us think about. And so we just want to show you something really fast before we show you up close. I'm going to pull that one out. This one is Little Bees, and you'll see it up close and you'll be able to see it. But um, it's, um, it's just this nice kind of beige background and these tiny little bees. And so at first it made me think of the line called Eliza. But um, this is Eliza. It does not look good together. So we just want to make sure that... Um, um, if you have some of this and you had some left over and you think, oh my gosh, it looks almost identical, for a moment uh, in your brain yeah. it does, but no. Eliza's um, very white and it's metallic gold. White and metallic, not cream and gold color. Um, That's we exactly did right. find, though, mm. Veranda. We only have a few, little bit of that collection left, mm -hmm. but really, really pretty. If you want to put a little bit more color, mm -hmm. um, you're adding green and blue to what's already soft bits of green, little and soft shadowing of blues. Pan down a little. Let me do um, that. see if I can be trusted here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's um, see if I can do so this. the veranda looks really good with it if you want to oh, add some color and dimension to it. Mm -hmm. really okay, close. so there it is with um, the veranda. And you'll see that um, in the veranda, there is some of this other kind of gray and blue and some of this other gold. And you can see, if you look down here, look at how well that goes with it. It really, it, it really looks good together. So if you have some of this veranda, or if you want to add some other extra textures, you can see that this looks really good with it. Mm -hmm. And some of the pieces are coming out that it looks like it's a white background. It's very much parchment. Yeah. This is very, it's oh, not these? White. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's parchment. They come through looking white, but it's not white. Do you want to do them up close just to kind of um, show them? Sure, let me squeeze in. Right. We can see everything really good that you way. You can really good. So this one is like a ticking, so it's just beautiful with that gold and that kind of, uh, gosh, it's almost like a taupe, isn't it? Really cool, almost an eye cap background, a little daisy. Oh, I love that. That's pretty, I like this pretty, pretty like modern, that. yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. And this one, dot. yeah. So the polka dots. So there's a couple of different colors. And so there's this sort of a burnt orangey color. Just very subtle. It's only in a few pieces. But there's some of it in this little polka dot here. And yeah, you're exactly right. It's a parchment, kind of a creamy background. This just has, oh no, 1970 written all over it. Yeah, it I just love this little calico. Super cute. And then this one, what is that little pattern? It's kind of an oval. Kind of an oval. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe Looks like a um, tatting, a little tatting oh, thing. Oh, it could be, yeah. Or a petal. <coughs> and then that's really pretty. And you can see a little bit of that burnt orange in there and the little mm -hmm. berries. And it's that taupe background, which is really nice. Here's another Love that taupe. One. Beautiful. Kind of a very traditional, that seems like that's an edit of pattern, isn't it? And it's coming across kind of green, it's mustard. No, it's definitely mustard. Some gray poupon. Yeah, yeah, it's gray poupon. And here is that orangey color. It's a very burnt orange, really pretty, really nice, very subtle. And this, Some the words. little words. Live peacefully, sew, thread, and fabric equal heaven. Big projects start with little pieces. That's really cool. And then this, just a very basic little asterisk. And that asterisk is kind of in that taupey color. And then over on this side, you already saw the B, but if you want to see that up close, it's not really direct. Some are going one way, some are going the other way. Cute little bees and butterflies and the butterflies there's two of these so this one is on the taupe background and again it's not metallic it's just gold color and then this one is on that beautiful ivory background oh this is just gorgeous it's really pretty yeah that's why i think that the hollywood 
you know, uh, when there's like a background and you really want it to be kind of center stage, it would be a really good version. Oh, it's really nice. Little twigs. And here's again, this is the third piece. There's four total that are using just that tiny little bit of that little burnt orange in there. Very subtle, real sweet. More of that, I don't know, 1960s or earlier. This is bathroom wallpaper right here. <laughs> I love it, very nostalgic. And then this little guy, it's an upside down yo-yo. in that taupe color. And then, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the little polka dots on this, that's that burnt orange again. And you can see it's really very subtle, even with something that doesn't have the orange in it. This is tiny little flowers with that little um, kind of mustardy color and the taupe. Very pretty. And then this one has that mustard and is that coming maybe coming across green mm. it's it's not green but you could almost think it is it's really just um, a beige a taupe and that little bit of yellow and so it's funny that those three colors together it makes you almost think green but oh love that one yeah that's the only one in that print mm-hmm that's really pretty. Yeah, she didn't repeat a lot of prints. And then here's another one. Little daisy, little posy. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then what's really nice is we did find a little box with um, the pre-cuts in them. And so we've got the back quarters. Back quarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we obviously got the entire line. collection. Yeah, which is really pretty. Uh, five inch squares. Beautiful. Ten, Ten inch squares. And two and a half inch strips. All right. And it's so pretty. I'm going to open one of these because mm -hmm. just seeing them all together. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I can. Lizzie says, oh my gosh. She's just so scary. Out. So scary. Okay, there you go. But yeah, look at all those just all together. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be a really great, if you're not sure what to get for a wedding quilt, you want to do a quilt mm -hmm. or a lap quilt or whatever. This is very low volume. Yeah, extremely low volume. And yeah. it would go with anybody's aesthetic, mm -hmm. whether it's, you modern, know, modern, old fashioned, mm -hmm, creams, elegant. greens, yeah. wouldn't matter. Yeah. Really it's very pretty. neutral so that you wouldn't have to change it out. That's the thing that you worry yeah. about is you make somebody a quilt because their colors are purple or fuchsia or. Yeah. Blue, you know, and blue tends to stay around for a long time, but the others oftentimes uh, yeah. they don't. Yeah. So something that's a little more low volume, a little more neutral. That's will that, last it'll for always a long time. go with someone's couch. Yeah. Unless they get yeah. crazy and do, you know, a yeah, a bright purple couch. But even then. Yeah. It's cool. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That burnt kind of rusty orange is such a modern color right now. Mm -hmm. In a modern farmhouse setting. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It's a background color. It's beautiful. It is. So this is really what nice. Sweet Nothing looks like for yes. Etta Tessitar. And I think somebody not too long ago asked me if we were getting Etta's new line. It's like, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. We don't know. We never know. We, you'd think we'd write it down, but. We never know. We try. In like the beginning of a year, like we're going we're gonna to write it all down. We're going to have a calendar at the shop. We're going to write Open it down. That crisp new <laughs> paper calendar. <laughs> we're going to know. We start for the first couple months. We are dedicated. On it. And then... Well, what we found out is we don't know what it means. So it'll say, you sweet know, nothings. sweet nothings. But what does that mean? We don't know. That. Is it a baby line? We don't know. Yeah. yeah. So then we decided we really, really like it when we're surprised. Yeah. Because yeah. even if we do know, what are we going to what are we gonna do with that knowledge? Yeah. That I know. Sometime I know. in September. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> sometime in September it's coming. Okay. That's cool. I know. Ooh, I don't know. So we've just decided we're not going to even worry about it. That's no. one of those things that we'll That's just right. someday want to accomplish, but eh. Yes. Maybe not this year or yes. next year. Now, there's one more little box. Do you feel little like box. you want to? Sometimes sure. we have these little boxes, and we don't always open them because um, they could be pre-cuts that you haven't seen yet, or they could be pre-cuts that um, we've been waiting on. But this is kind of a funny, it's this is funny not shape. big enough for a pre-cut, so I feel like it might be patterns. It's a funny shape. It could be patterns, a book. Notions. A notion. A present. A present. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's Halloween. Okay, so uh, I think I feel like I remember this. Are we getting 
I don't think I ordered the fabric with this. So, um, what this one is, this is the Printworks. So this is one of those ginormous 15% uh, linen kind of canvas panels. It's 15% linen, 85% cotton, and so it ends up being a little yeah, heavier heavy. weight. More of like a decorator weight. But, but you can put it in a quilt. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put it with like-minded stuff. Because I feel like I remember. Because this was, uh, this collection is actually called Late October by Sweetwater. <gasps> but I feel like when I saw this, the oranges and the black and whites and stuff weren't anything like spectacular. What was super- just normal. Just normal, yeah. The, what's really cute about this are the little printed bits. But if you're looking for an orange and cream, a black and white, we probably have that in our stash, or I can definitely sell you that. So, super cute. You're supposed to make a bunch of treat bags. Adorable. So we're going to hold this up for you. You can make eight, eight, eight treat bags. Eight. Eight treat bags. And it looks like, so they did that so that you could also cut, well, here. <laughs> we have enough room here. So, um, and you're right. I think that this orange and black is like five other collections yeah. that we have. And I was too busy oogling and wasn't listening. Did you say that if they say, I picked this orange and please make sure it matches? I didn't, did you but if that? you, or, cause there's only a few of these panels. So if you decide you want to do something different and you want to match this orange, just you put your notes. You could do a crumb cake yeah. out of this. You could do, you could cut these up. I'll bet those are 10 inch squares. Uh, yeah, pretty close for sure. And even these, like these little faux pieced ones. That is actually a square. Is so a square? this is probably your handles for your bags, mm -hmm. don't you think? Yeah, or a cuff or something. So, but yeah, everything in here will give you all of your treat bags. All you need is, you know, your sewing machine and a pair of scissors. Gosh, that's But cute. I would totally turn this into a quilt. I think it's adorable too. using the kind of piece looking pieces, the solid pieces. But I also think I would turn it into a quilt because I also think this is not a long enough handle. No. I guess it depends on how you like to hold your bag. If you like to hold your bag like this, well, for my side, right. but otherwise, I think treats. you need a he shoulder. Just, he just wants to hold it so as long as he can get candy in it. Oh, yeah. They hold it Short open. Short handles. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, oh, you're scary. No, thank you. And then. <laughs> However, we'll pass up candy if she thinks you're scary. Um, but it's really cute. So if you are getting an orange or whatever to go See, with they're this. they're suggesting that the handles are short. Yeah. So you could get something. A black. This A black is a black. Yeah. Do a solid black. But if you're thinking, oh, I want to make an orange mm -hmm. or whatever, just put in a note. Say, hey, I'm going to put the orange with my panel or whatever. Mm -hmm. Make want sure it, it matches. Match. We will absolutely make a match for you. And this also makes me think, what's the one not illustrations? Create. Oh, create. The one we just that got just last came. week. Um, it makes me think of that mm -hmm. also. And I feel like this little doodle one, I don't know if you guys can see this little doodle one, that was in Sweetwater's like love mm -hmm. or something. It was their Valentine oh, yeah, yeah, one that yeah, we yeah. got that was just white or cream almost, black and red. Oh, And yeah. that's that print. I think we still have it. So that. I think I have this exact print. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I don't want to have this funny tire tread. I bet I have the little squiggle. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So if you want things to go with it, that Hunt around, let us know, make a note. We can even make call a note you. if you want us to match. Yeah, but there's only a few of these. Yeah, how many are in there? There's not uh, enough. If you were, if we were chatting and other people were shopping, oh, I apologize. Sorry. And I don't think we have the fabric coming. So if by some freak, it um, would make sense that we didn't because yeah. we got quite a few um, basic Halloween pieces. Yeah, we have a ton of yeah. orange and black and cream. But if we matchup. eventually see this line. Maybe, knock on wood. Uh, we won't Act surprised. Them. Yeah, because these will be gone. These will be gone. So we won't say, oh, remember those panels? Remember? Did you get those? Oh, that's too bad. So yeah, we won't bring it up. That's it. But yeah, I don't think I did because there's nothing, again, the prints themselves, very cool. But yeah. we having yeah. a shop that we've been open for 20, almost 23 yeah. years, eh, it's the we same, got it. It's the same print in, yeah. yeah. So um, print, where, where will we find this? Because we have other, Printworks, mm -hmm. they um, they do this quite a bit where they'll do, um, again, out of that 15% linen, 85% um, cotton, and they'll make pi uh, pillow panels and bags, yeah. and they do. So I know, um, I think um, branded. I believe some... I have a Printwork work category that has everybody in there. Okay. So I'm going to put this one 
in with the rest of the print work so you can graze over if you want to. Mm -hmm. And you can find these because it, of course, does not really go with a collection. Mm -hmm. And then check out um, in the link below, so in the description below, I'll, of course, link this particular panel. I'll also link if there's a Halloween line that I think we just got not too long ago that I think is the same colors. I'll link that suggested Halloween line below, too. We'll go look. So, if you want we'll to We'll do some shopping for you. Yeah. Or put in your notes. We would do a personal shopper for you or make sure you color We match. should do that anyway. Because you know what? Here, just when you thought we were wrapping up here. <laughs> we should do that. Because you know what? I was thinking about you guys. Um, uh, people that are able to come in will see where we've put collections together that should go together. Um, and that's why we oftentimes will go get fabric and say, oh, if you have this at home, this will yeah. go with it. There, the new Christmas line that we just got that has the nativity uh -huh. pillows on it, we need to go in really quick and show you. Because there was a line that came when we were in the Mediterranean. And when I got back and we saw that, it's... Oh, I it's, think both of us at different times. Why is it still here? Why is yeah. it still here? <laughs> I don't know what was going on that day that um, you guys did not buy that fabric. But it is beautiful. There's it's still so cool. pre-cuts. There's still panels left. It's a really cool line. So um, you need to see it. And you need to see it with that other line. Mm -hmm. So just really fast. I don't know how... I, I, we never know how long it's actually been because we've been at it for hours. But... Um, but I think let's just go in before we stop because okay. because we really do like to do that for you. If we're finding a line that will go with this and 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 again, if you put in your notes to mm -hmm. for us to shop for it's you, what we, we love do. to do it. Our life is it's fabric yeah. and the collection. Of. If we're shopping for you, then we don't have to spend our own money. Yeah. Hopefully not. I don't know. We can live vicariously. Some, sometimes <laughs> what we put together for you is like, oh, that was good. Oh, that, I'm gonna have I, to. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> Yeah, we are, yeah. Got a second kid of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's Sometimes. true. That's true. All right, we're going to go happening. sneak into the Christmas room real fast yeah. and show you that. Okay, so this is the line that we... Um, that both Brianna and I noticed when we got back. So it must have arrived sometime in June, and it's called... Oh, there's two different... Cheer and so Merriment. So Cheer and Merriment. And it's got that teal in there... Um, it has that green, kind of that um, tealy green that is just kind of all the rage right now. There's some really pretty poinsettias or poinsettia, whichever you prefer. And then if I come over this way, am I in the shot? Mega. Look at the really pretty green. Look at that green. I love that green. And then a really cool plaid, the reds, and then there's some golds down here. And what's really nice is there's still a whole bunch of pre-cuts, so there's still some 10-inch squares. There's still some um, fat eighth bundles. There's still some five inch squares and some jelly rolls. But let me show you this panel. This panel, if you guys remember when we had, um, I know it was the same gal when we did the, um, they were hymns, right? Isn't that yeah. what it was? It's the same artwork, same gal. And that fabric I think sold out in like 30 minutes. So um, this is that same idea. So there's six of these squares and then there's three labels there peace on earth you could make bags out of this you could do a star stepping you could do a crumb cake oh, you could do all cool. kinds of things it's fantastic so what i want to show you there's not really very many of the panels left but i want to show you this line so this is the line that i was talking about that just came in joyful joyful look at this look at the red the green, the mint. Look at that. It's exactly, it's fantastic. So I'm just going to pull a bunch out. It was this one that had the, see, look wow, at that green yeah. right there, right? Now, the weird thing is it's not the same designer, which is kind of, it made me think, because look at that red. Look at that red with Yeah, because the only thing the same is that it's a um, moda. Yeah. It's two different modas. Look at that. Look at this piece with this. So if you have some of this at home and you just wanted a couple other, look at this light piece with this. Gosh, it's beautiful. I hope it looks as good in the yeah, camera as it does in real life. And look at this piece. So it's almost, yeah, it's just super similar. Even I feel like the dove is similar. Yeah. Yeah. Those are fabulous that. together. Yep. And then here is, uh, there isn't as much, the peach, 
There isn't really, yeah. there's no the peach, peach in there. Unique so to joyful, I joyful. would, um, for joyful, joyful, I would s probably stay away from the peach and the blue. Um, the, you know what I mean by the blue? There was a piece oh, like this. I mean, not that that's terrible. I, I, I'm not saying that I wouldn't put that together, but you're just introducing another color. It doesn't look bad with it at all, but. Um, but anyway, so so this is joyful, joyful um, cheer and merriment. All right, that was a lot. But yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah, so a lot to look at. So what? So let's what we do? We them. did a uh, creative grid for design walls. Oh yes, and some um, notions. Some notions. Some the blue thermal fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, thermal thimbles. Thimbles. Friction pens, mm -hmm. some orofil thread. So if you mm -hmm. need some thread, uh, I'm waiting for a solid black or white. I got three it. Three seam quilt. Three seam quilt. Cool. Uh, the machine embroidery bag and some mm -hmm. product. Oh, yeah. Um, good stuff. Uh, let's see. And then uh, the Edita, line. sweet nothings. Edita, sweet nothings. And then, um, oh, we're already cutting the. Oh, yeah, the boutiques. Yeah, remember, we're going to do. Um, 20 new boutiques. Of course, yeah. you can buy them, um, whatever you want, or we're going to do some half yard bundles for you. Yeah. Um, a half yard of design. every single piece if you just need some or you have something cool yeah. in mind. Yeah. Do you want. We can even pause here for a moment. Do you. We should have a code. No, we wouldn't be able to do that. A code for if they wanted one yard of everything. No, because of my inventory. Yeah, never mind. Can't do that. Never mind. No. Okay. And then um, Christmas. Christmas. So the cheer and merriment and the joyful, joyful together is a whole lot of happiness. Gorgeous. And only, what was it, seven of those other yeah. panels left. So, uh, but you needed to know <laughs> that there were some panels left. Yeah. Sometimes there's really good stuff. In so, the store. again, if you have waited the whole, I don't even know, an hour to watch the very end, there was your little, your little. You're welcome. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> little present. present. Little present. Just for you. Yes. All right. Awesome. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Little Miss Pouty Pants. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.